Hey guys, just doing some food prep here with the uh, Spyderco Manix 2. Uh, I've got a few potatoes to peel, so I thought I would uh, give it a try and see how it does. It, um, the grind on this is the uh, saber grind, uh, the hollow grind, or whatever you want to call it. But basically it's not the full flat grind that we've all come to know and love. So, it's a little different, but um, I think that it does a pretty decent job on most tasks. Uh, I do, like, what I like about the full flat grind is just really the simplicity of it. Um, it's nice and thin, like, it's easy, you know, visually to sort of understand it and all that good stuff. But, uh, as you can see, the, uh, the saber ground is, is doing pretty decent. Um, it's getting the job done. I'm rocking the small cutting board right now, so it's kind of difficult to... Uh, to do a lot of food prep on. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's peeling pretty nicely. It's, uh, it's kind of weird working with small blades for food prep. Um, I'm used to using a much more sort of traditional kitchen knife. Uh, but you know, it gets the job done. If you're, uh, if you're out camping, uh, you know, a lot of people like potatoes. and I don't know, I mean, you can make a salad or something, I guess. That's, uh, that's one of the things I struggle with, with backpacking, it's all the food that I normally would like to eat, uh, you know, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and things like that, um, you know, that's difficult to do when you're backpacking because you're sort of hauling the water contents of the fruit or vegetable with you, and it's sort of a rule, uh, generally speaking, if you're going to have water where you're going, you don't want to be carrying a ton of water with you because it's heavy. Um, so the same principle goes with fruits and vegetables, I guess. Um, you want something that's uh, dehydrated, you know, dried out or whatever. Um, so you're not carrying the water content. You can rehydrate it later with, with water, you know, like you're making a soup or whatever later. Um, but I kind of struggle with that, honestly. I, I usually end up carrying at least one fruit with me. Um, I guess one way to deal with that is like the day that you're going hiking is in the morning just make sure you have like a big serving of fruit or whatever um, so that you're sort of getting that fruit serving for the day even if you happen to not be taking anything with you on the hike um, it's kind of funny I always seem to end up eating uh, the ramen noodles and like a can of tuna fish and uh, what else do I bring bring some tea and uh, maybe some instant coffee which is really bad by the way um, but uh, yeah, you know, cliff bars. But I really, that's something I need to get better at for sure is um, taking a better diversity of foods with me when I'm uh, backpacking. I tend not to eat any of that stuff actually when I'm in the city so that on the rare occasion that I'm actually out somewhere on the trail and I'm eating it, it's like, oh, you know, it's not so bad. I haven't had that for a while, but I would like to try something different for sure. So now that the potatoes are all peeled, it's time to uh, actually cut into them and see how the knife does on that. And it's, uh, it's doing a good job. Like, uh, I don't know why everybody's so down on the saber grind, or maybe it's not that they're down on it, but everybody just loves the full flat grind a lot. Um, but I've heard that the saber grind doesn't do as well at tasks where it's going deep into the cutting surface, you know, like the cutting, whatever you're cutting. Um, like that sort of obtuse grind uh, will get stuck in the material, but it's going, you know, through um, fairly large potatoes and it's doing pretty good. I like to, uh, I like to make multiple servings of food um, in one sort of cooking session uh, because Right now, my, my girlfriend uh, doesn't live in the same city as I am, so sort of um, week to week, month to month, I'm effectively single because I'm in a long distance relationship. And if you're ever in one of those, you know how much it sucks. But um, so long story short, I'm, I'm cooking for one person pretty much all the time. Um, and that can be kind of exhausting, honestly, because, um, you know, most of us don't have time to cook like a really good meal or whatever every day. Uh, you know, we're always grabbing stuff, like the, there's a reason why microwave dinners and all that crap um, is such a popular seller in North America, but um, anyways, long story short, um, you know, I don't have time to cook a big meal every day, 
So I'll cook maybe a lot of something and uh, then I'll have extras. So in this case, I'm cooking like four potatoes. So I'm going to eat two of them now, put two of them in the fridge, maybe fry them up tomorrow morning for uh, some like home fries uh, with some eggs and bacon. Uh, nice healthy meal there, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, the, uh, the Mannix 2 uh, did a really good job on those potatoes. It pretty much smoked them. So uh, Saber Ground is uh, good for a lot of tasks, as it turns out. Thanks for watching.